Alright lads, so here we are in Monza for episode number 12 of the F1 2014 Modded Career Mode Championship. And we're in Monza, as I said, the Italian Grand Prix. We're nearing the end of the uh, season. I think we're about 18 points behind Nico Rosberg at the moment. The championship, of course, isn't out of reach. It's still very much up for grabs. And uh, here we are in qualifying three. We've easily got into the session. Well, not easily, but either way, first run in Q3. Uh, we go purple on a 23.6, but the AI uh, didn't set many of their times yet. Now cutting to almost the end of the session, we've now put on a brand new set of option tyres, and we'll see how much faster we can go. We need to find about 8 tenths, I want to say, to find uh, pole position, so I'm going to try and do my best if I can. I've put three laps of fuel in the car, and uh, we should be able to find just a couple more tenths just in that performance alone just by taking a little bit of fuel out so we'll see how we go my very first run in this session wasn't the best either so fingers crossed we should be able to improve we're actually three tenths up there on Vettel but uh, I actually lose quite a bit of time in this third sector all the time it's mainly down to the aero this Toro Rosso just doesn't generate the downforce that some of the top teams have in Formula 1 but either way coming through this uh, third sector we're actually three tenths up on Vettel if I haven't mentioned already so we're looking to improve on this lap if we can. This will be our last lap as well. We won't have time to do another one after this. So coming across the line and we do a 23-0 and it puts us just in second place. Only a hundredth behind Sebastian Vettel. So we we're very close to getting pole here in Monza. Lewis Hamilton in fourth and crucially Nico Rosberg down in sixth. So... It's been a very good start to the weekend. Hopefully we can capitalize on that and maybe get some points over Rosberg and maybe get the championship lead back. So here we are on the grid of Monza waiting for those five red lights to go out. And away we go. Looks like the start has been a bit, a bit terrible to be honest. Hamilton gets a better jump than us through second, third and fourth gear. We're going to drop down into third. We've got Ricardo now. Uh, putting us under pressure. We're going to try and be the last of the late breakers here coming into turn one. We give Vettel a touch there. Thankfully, no damage there to our front wing. And uh, trying to go around the outside of Hamilton. We're going to use up a little bit more curves if we can. And uh, try and tuck into that slipstream of Sebastian Vettel. He's a long way up the road. We put it up into fast. And he must be fuel saving here. Look at that. Look at the toe. It's absolutely fantastic. And now we go into the lead of the Grand Prix on the opening lap for the first time ever. I think I'm leading in a Toro Rosso, so this is absolutely fantastic. I did drive for Toro Rosso, of course, in the first season of career mode, but I would never thought I'd led a race in that season either, so this is uh, groundbreaking stuff here. I was on lap four. We've got Hamilton now trying to go around the outside into turn one. He outbreaks as we just don't have the kind of grip that he has, but we lunge it up the inside, and we just uh, pull the car up and maintain first place at the moment. Now on lap 6, Hamilton is going for the gap again around the outside into turn 1. Looks like he might have got the job done this time. No, he runs wide through the first part of turn 1. We get him back around the outside once again, and it's getting very close at the moment. We've now got 18 runners in the Grand Prix, so some AI cars having some tangles with each other in the opening couple of laps. Hamilton on the attack once again, and it looks like this time he might actually get the move done. No, he's run wide. He's leaving me so much space there that he's actually... Uh, really hurting himself there. Now we've got Jensen Button right behind us as we've got a, a burst of wheel spin on the exit of turn one and uh, this is really starting to hot up now so lap 18 we've got Button now coming on the attack I believe Hamilton has stopped early so he might be going for a two stopper for some reason which is really weird because my strategy is to go for the one stop Hamilton, uh, not Hamilton, Button now takes the inside line into turn two and he squeezes me out onto the ripple strip there and that's how you overtake into turn one, Lewis Hamilton, but either way we're going to try and use the slipstream like we did to uh, Vettel on the first lap and it looks like Button again, just like Vettel was, saving fuel on the run up to this second sector split and that allows us to take the lead once again. Now lap 23 we have Jensen Button who's dropped down into third as Nico Hulkenberg is on the fly. And we're lapping Marcus Ericsson there in 17th place. So Caterham doing very well at the moment. But on this lap, we'll be coming in for a set of primes now for our one and only stop of this race. The tyre wear hasn't been too bad. But in saying that, I have experienced a little bit of understeer and a little bit of oversteer as well on the exit of turn one. So that's been a little bit worrying. But in saying that, it was fairly uh, manageable in this race. So... Pit stop from Lotus, not Lotus, I still think I'm at Lotus for some reason. It's been 3.1 seconds there, so once again, decent stop there from 
Toro Rosso and rejoining on the track. We've got Hamilton in second, I believe. He did the massive undercut, so he might be able to jump us as we come up to turn one now. And it looks like, yes, he's jumped us. He's got the effective lead. And now coming in at turn one, we've overshot the uh, chicane there. Had to jump over the, uh, the sleeping policeman there and get a corner cut warning. We're going to slow up for Hamilton to allow him to get alongside and maybe pass us once again. So we'll see. Does he take the lead of the Grand Prix? He's trying to hold around the outside, and then he backs out of it for some reason. So that was a little bit weird. But now, that was it. Cutting onto the final lap, Hamilton stopped about 10, maybe 15 laps later than that. It seems he couldn't take his primes uh, to do a one-stop because he stopped in for his first stop so early. And uh, that allowed us to have a sizable lead. It's now out to 16 seconds. But over the last 10 to 15 laps, Hamilton has been catching me because he has had the fresher tyres. But either way, we've had a, uh, a fairly dominant race here. Uh, some of the AI, of course, having their troubles. Only 13 runners in this Grand Prix. But either way, we've been too consistent. We've been too fast over the course of a full race stint. And I think this is going to do us a world of good in the driver's standings. We just need to see where Rosberg finishes in this Grand Prix. May possibly have the lead if we do well. But coming across the line now, we've got our first win for Toro Rosso. And now we're back in the championship. Alright, so there we go. First place here in the Italian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton, 18 seconds back in second place. Nico Hülkenberg gets his first podium of the season in third place. Daniel Ricciardo, fourth. And our teammate, Daniel Kvyat, in fifth place. So this has been a really good race for Toro Rosso. This is going to move us up massively in the Constructors' standings. Pastor Maldonado, sixth. Romain Grosjean, seventh. So Lotus continuing their good run of form once I leave the team. We've got Kamui Kobayashi scoring points for Caterham in 8th place. No, ninth place. Esteban Gutierrez in 10th. This has been an absolute, absolutely crazy race. We've got Felipe Massa and Fernando Alonso who retired after the end of the first lap. So they must have had some tangles with each other, which is pretty controversial. But in the driver standings, we're now leading the championship once again. 7 points clear of Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton in 3rd. So, this is almost becoming a 3-way affair for the championship. But, Constructors, Toro Rosso is in 8th place. So, we're quickly catching uh, Force India and uh, Red Bull Racing. So, it's turning out to be a fascinating championship. The run to the final couple of races is going to be absolutely awesome. There's going to be some tracks where I'm slower than the AI. And there might be some tracks where I might be on the pace and fighting for the race win. It's going to be absolutely crazy. I have no idea how it's going to go. But until the next race in Singapore, I'll see you guys next time.